big thing, just going out to execute. Um, you know, uh, offense give, give us good field, field position throughout the game, so we just had to go out to execute and stop them. You guys were all celebrating over with the band, just sort of running around. How much did this program need a win like that? It's, it's a good feeling. It was a real good feeling. It feel good to get the win. It feel good to celebrate with our, our band, celebrate with the fans. And it was a great win for the program and for us and for the state of Tennessee. Do you think the defense would have as much success against South Carolina as they did? You did a pretty good job of balling the ball. Yes, sir. We, we game we plan pretty well. We game plan throughout the practice. Um, everything everything we game plan for, they ran it in the game. So we was ready for it. And that was the big key, just executing and getting the job done. You forced them into a lot of third and longs. How helpful was that? Uh, that's, that's the key, um, getting, getting the team in third and long, giving them, leaving them one-dimensional. And once, you get, once we did that, we just had to keep – Keep the quarterback in the pocket, and we knew it was, it was a good. It was going to be a good game. How important was it to keep showing the puck? That was the, that was the big key. Um, and he made a, he made a good good plays throughout the game, but at the end we 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 got him out of the game and we kept the other quarterback contained in the pocket, and that was the that was the big key to, uh, for our defense. AJ, this is your first win against a ranked team. Just kind of what, what does it mean to you? It's a good feeling. It's a real good feeling. I know everybody in the high, locker room high, was very high. I know the fans out was very high, and we we proud of ourselves, and we proud, and we glad we got it done for the for Tennessee. Where were you when, when Marquez made that catch to kind of get, get the offense down in full range? Did you were you kind of surprised he caught it? Well, Coach said it was about inches. That's what we worked on, and. He he made he made a catch with a, by a little inch, and once he made that catch, it, it was a real good feel. We all jumped up and was celebrating, and from there we knew we knew we had it. We had, we had momentum from there. Were there times when you were spying, Shaw, to make sure that if he broke out of the pocket, you were going to attack him? I I wasn't on the spy. We had another player on uh, spy him a couple of times. Who did it most of the time? When we when we go on spy, probably was uh Brew Brent Brew. AJ, hey talk about the defensive line. You guys got a lot of pressure on on their quarterbacks. Talk about the D line for you. Our D line did a great job. They they hold their points. He got he got loose. He a good player, so he's gonna get loose a couple a couple times. But for the most part, our D line hold their points and got after him and kept him inside the pocket. You talked to many of the South Carolina games, South Carolina players afterwards. What, what kind of compliments have they given you guys about your game? Pretty much, just keep playing hard. I talked to a couple of them. And that was, that was a big thing. They said just keep playing hard, and they they uh, they uh, gave us our props. Could you tell that this game was special for Justin World, being that it was South Carolina this week? Do you think he was actually motivated to turn around? Throughout practice, he was doing he was doing everything right. Um, just just from just from practice, um, we knew he, he was prepared for this game, and we know he's from South Carolina, so it gave him a little more fire to to make make more plays, and he did. Angel, hey, do you feel like the defense of the last couple of games has become much more of a physical defense, and what's enabled you guys to, to get that way? Just playing as one. That's the big key. We was all, all out there playing as one. High, high, high emotions, playing, playing smart football, getting, to, getting our assignments and communicating as one defense, and that's, that's really the big key, and we're having fun out there. Can you talk about the, uh, the end of the game, that uh, the long pass to, to North, the completion setting up the uh, um, that's confidence, you know. Uh, Coach, he'll call plays like that, every, uh, you know, in key situations when you know we got to execute execute them in practice first. So, you know, that's something that we executed in practice. We're able to, you know, put it in during the game situation, and uh, you know, it's good to see freshmen like that making plays and Justin getting the confidence to, you know, to throw the deep ball. During the during the week of practice, how did you guys feel like you could gain the edge on South Carolina? Where where was the game plan on that? Well, offensively, you know, it was all about tempo, speed, you know. Our motto on uh, offense is fast and furious. So, what we wanted to do, we wanted to get them in situations where we had nine, ten, eleven, twelve, you know, play drives where we could, you know, really get them tired. And you know, and it, you saw that in the second quarter where they started to get really tired, and then laid off in the fourth quarter, and we were able to take advantage of that. Take the last question for AJ. Uh, I, I was very excited and I looked around and, uh, and I guess he went to the locker room. Um, I didn't really get to shake too many of the players' hands. I, you know, they all went to the locker room, but uh, I wish I could have. You know, he played a, he played a great game, especially in the first half. And uh, you know, you know, a player like that, you know, and a player like me, which I, you know, I'm not trying to, you know. 
give myself a lot of credit, but he brought his A game today. And, um, you know, I have all respect for him. Well, why was he so effective early? I think he had two right now. Um, was it mm -hmm, Well, what it was was um, they would bring field or boundary pressure, and when he would be on the opposite side, when I would, I was expecting to play contain, but he would just shoot inside and some just basically freelance. And uh, sometimes it worked; he was able to make a play. And sometimes when he did it, you know, it didn't work out for him that well. But he kind of did his own thing, and uh, we were able to take advantage of that, you know, in key situations. You think you were pretty emotional after the game. Can you put into words what you were feeling when that kick was made? Man, it's just. You know, it's not just about me or just about, you know, a few players or just, it's, it's all about, you know, Tennessee talking, you know, meaning the guys that came before us. Y'all, you know, we saw all those VFLs, about 200 VFLs that were here at the game. You know, I was shaking all those guys' hands earlier and I told them, you know, we got your back. You know, it's time to get Tennessee back to where we need to be. And uh, I think that we took the proper first step to get there and that's what it's really all about. How do you feel like you played against Clowney today? Um, like I said, he made his plays. I mean, every now and then he made his plays, but I told, you know, y'all know me, I like to talk. Uh, I told him, you know, I'm gonna keep bringing it all day. And one-on-one uh, -on -one pass protection, I, I felt like I pretty much was able to shut him down. And, uh, you know, I think that, you know, in key situations like that, you gotta step up, but he made his plays and, you know, he's a great player. It looked like there were a couple of times he, he went on the block. Were there some missed assignments on him? Um, but what it was, like I said earlier, he was freelancing and just shooting inside, and he's really athletic. So when he shoots inside, if you don't get leverage, it's, it's done. It, it don't matter how good you are. So he was he was able to take advantage of those sometimes. But I felt for the most part, when we got locked in, we were able to take advantage. How do you were on the last guy, I think, off the field after the game? Were you just trying to soak everything in? And yeah, I was really trying to soak everything again. You know, uh, I haven't had a big win like that since I've been here. And, you know, it's, like I said, it's not just about me. I was happy we were able to get that win for the seniors. You know, Juwan. Uh, James, uh, Zach, Bull, uh, Marlon Walls, all those guys have been been here for so long and haven't been able to get that, that big win. They've come close, but they haven't got it. And for them to be able to get that win in front of our home crowd was really, it was everything. How do you think that coming close against Georgia maybe helped you in this game? I, I believe it did because it showed us that we could make plays. Um, you know, it is what it is. South Carolina, they have a talented defense. You know, they're, really, they're very athletic up front, you know, especially their front seven. They got some linebackers that can run really well. But, you know, it was all about believing. And, uh, we, you know, as we came in, we believed the theme this week was inches. You know, football is a game of inches, you know. So we were able to, you know, take advantage of, you know, those situations where we had to, you know, get that extra inch. Justin, what did uh, Coach, and, uh, Coach Bajakian and Butch <clears throat> All those guys, what they say to you before you took the field and the huddle before that last possession? Uh, just stay poised, and uh, I mean, we, we we've repped that a thousand times in practice. A one minute drill with no timeouts on the thirty five yard line, and. Uh, um, you just have to understand the situation you're in. You can't take a sack. You can't throw an interception. You can't force the ball at times. And uh, um, they just said, stay poised. Don't do too much. Don't try to do too much. And uh, and. Thankfully, we came out and uh, put a good drive together. Does so it have on the play to Marquez kind of take, kind of take me through that play? Um, it, it was just a, a single receiver stutter route, a stutter and go. And um, we always say 12 equals six. He got the 12 yards, stuttered, broke, broke the d defender down. And um, uh, I was fortunate enough to put it in a place where he could make a play on it. Do you think when he came down with it, were you not, not sure that he caught it? or? I, I didn't see it. I, I was on the ground, so yeah, I didn't see him. Was he your primary on that? It, it's it's an alert, what we call an alert in our offensive scheme. Um, if we like to look, if it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, uh, if there's not going to be a post safety over the top of him, uh, we, we like to look, and uh, they do a lot of... Uh, Single, they, they, they ran a lot of single high coverages, so we, we knew uh, having to start a route on the backside of a, a pass concept would be a good option. You had three catches today, and they were all pretty tough in traffic, you know, little tough catches. What's, are, you, are you guys surprised when he does those things, or is it kind of what you expect from him now? Uh, I mean, he's made those plays since he got here. Um, 
and to see him go out there and do it in a game and, and transfer from practice just against our guys and go out and have some success in games, um, I think you'll see his confidence continue to grow. And um, he, made, he, he stepped up and made some huge plays for us today. Justin, was there any point where the offense was getting a little frustrated? Because there were a lot of times you had really good field position, mm -hmm. in particular one where you got plus 35 and didn't take advantage. Yeah, um, that's always frustrating when, when you uh, – our defense did a great job putting us in good field position. When you have that field position and not being able to capitalize with uh, at least three points, it is frustrating. Uh, I think we had just too many negative, negative yardage plays today, a um, couple penalties that hurt here and there, and uh, just uh, situations that kind of went against us when, when we had good field position. But uh, I mean, we're going to watch the film, we're going to learn from it, and um, hopefully we can <clears throat> Continue with some of that success. Is there a final question for Tiny, so we can let him go. Tiny, and, and then afterwards, Justin, what kind of confidence does this win, what happened out here today, give you guys going on the road next week to Alabama? Uh, it gives us a lot of confidence because right now we feel like we can play with anybody. Um, like we said, it's a game of inches. You know, Alabama, they put on their shoes the same way we, we put on our shoes. Um, so we just got to go in there with confidence, um, execute and practice. That's the biggest thing, and uh, believe that we can win. It's all about belief at this point. Justin? Uh, I, same thing. Um, I think you, you saw our confidence grow against Georgia, and then uh, being able to come out and get a victory today against a top 15 opponent, I mean, that's huge. And uh, we had some uh, guys step up today. Marlon Wallace had a few big tackles. Um, Marquez had those huge catches. Rajon and Marlon both ran the ball well. Um, so you're going to con continue to see our confidence grow. Justin, you mentioned those catches that Marquez made. I guess how much does your confidence in him grow when you have a guy that you know you can throw to that maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be around the money that he can go up and go up and get passes that are maybe as far as 50-50? Yeah, um, having a big body like he has and um, the athletic ability that he has, um, you have to have confidence in being able to go up and, and throw the ball in one-on-one uh, -on -one situations. and. I like my chances with Marquez, and uh, he he proved that today. Rajon, you it's your first one over a ranked team in your career. Just what did it mean? What was what was the locker room like? You, you guys got it. No, the atmosphere was amazing. It was uh, you know, it's, it's one of the moments that you remember. Something that you're very appreciative of. Uh, I'm just happy for all the guys that's in my class, the younger guys, to you know, just to be a part of something like that. To Kind of jump start was, you know, to come uh, to come ahead, but it was uh, it was amazing. Justin, have the coaches encouraged you to keep the ball more on those zone replays? Uh, no, we haven't really discussed that a whole lot. Um, I, I'm reading a, a key, and um, I haven't had too many uh, pull keys the past few games, so uh, they haven't really discussed it with me whether I should pull it down more and run, but. Um, I, I scrambled a couple times today, but it wasn't a designed run at all. Rachel, like you're moving pretty fast on your scramble? I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope I'm moving fast, fast enough. Hey, Rachel, when, when you're celebrating with the band there at the end, is that something you dreamed about, or was it just spur of the moment and happened, or sort of, you know, describe your emotions there? Something spur of the moment. Something, uh, man, it's something I, I guess you can say you do dream of. And, uh, Shoot, to do that with the fans and the band and having all our guys around us and we all celebrating, it was, it was fun. Given you know what this program has been through the last few years while you've been here, I mean, how much did you guys need a win like this? Uh, we needed that badly, desperately. Uh, it's been a long time. And uh, that's something I think is going to jump starting push us in the right direction. For either of you guys, what, what's the level of validation in Butch and what he's trying to build when, when you see it come to fruition like that out on the field? Uh, I mean, I think uh, he's, he's brought his championship habits, which he, he always uses that term, um, to, to Tennessee. And it's taken us about five and, and really six games to, to really figure out what we're doing is the right way, and what we're doing is going to help us in the long run. Um, our effort that we play with, our physicality, uh, we, we say we want to play relentlessly. And uh, I think we're, we're trying to um, 
bring that every single day and it's starting to pay off and we're starting to see that what, what he's brought here is, is, is what's going to work for us. Rachel, what happened at the end of the, the first half with what was ruled, I guess, a forward pass? Oh, man. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember that play. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly don't know w uh, what play that was. I just remember uh, coming in in uh, halftime, and you know, going through our execution and our key points, and coming back out for the second half. How are you feeling? You got chopped down there in, uh, in the fourth quarter. How are you gonna help us? I'm good. It hurt though. I'm good. <laughs> it hurt. I was like, God, Lee. But uh, you know, I'll be all right. Right, yes. you, you didn't, that wasn't a halfback pass, though, was it? Yeah, I, I still don't know what play that was. <laughs>